Beautiful Saturday morning. Spread manure. Spreader does a really good job of not making big clumps. It's got a pretty decent spread pattern. this spreader. Um, I ended up switching the PTO again from a 1000 shaft to a 540 and then I changed a gear or a sprocket on the apron to speed the apron up. So I'm running the beater slower and the apron a little bit faster um, and it's actually perfect. So this manure out there is all pen packed. As you can see, there's very little, very little clumps anywhere. Um, and actually, like, that's a hard piece of manure there. You wouldn't get that busted up anymore, anyways. But this load is a load out of the steer lot. Um, basically, just chipping away all the way around the pile every day and then let the ice melt back. There's a foot of ice underneath the pile of manure, but the shed is all cleaned out. The front field's covered. Now I'm going to start hauling more out of the cow yard. Try and get this field covered back here, and then we'll start covering the field on the side over the corn stalks are. I get cement in my shed and my cow yards. I won't need my tracks anymore. shed alone there was 20 some loads and this spreader was heaped so it's supposed to be a 500 bushel spreader it's about everything that 64 can handle in the hill when it's fully loaded but the little tractor is getting it done but uh that's why bandit mentioned that 6603 tractor he knows that I'm interested in a little bit bigger one but it's still not quite big enough I need to get into a 7000 series um, the 64 handles a spreader fine and on these fields but once I get up in the hills I'm gonna need a bigger tractor so and for chopping in the hills I'm gonna need a bigger tractor as well but as you can see, I mean, this thing's got a heck of a nice spread pattern. It's not leaving big clumps. It's nice and even. You will have no issues, no tilling corn into this. So, it will be perfect, and honestly, this spreader, I could easily spread on hay ground and not have any issues. Pump it up a gear or two, spread it up.
spread it just a little bit thinner, it'd be awesome. So, anyways, yeah, we've been hauling manure, we've got a long ways to go yet. So, time to uh, head back, reload. Actually, I think I'm going to stop and eat breakfast. It's 12.30. I haven't eaten anything yet today, so time to eat some breakfast, come back out, and continue on. Hopefully, uh, this week we can plant oats. I'll look forward to uh, some videos of that. Maybe I'll make some more manure spread videos. I don't know. Manure spreading is kind of boring. And I just kind of want to get it done. So I'm not really feeling uh, making a lot of videos of it. But. So yeah, you can see the winter rye is growing underneath there, but there's not enough time for it to get to what it needs to be to harvest it and still get my corn planted by my date that I want to plant it this year. So I am going to let it grow as long as I can and then spray it and burn it down and we'll just no-till into it. Um, a lot of the old boys. In the area you're saying with how late the spring was and everything that they have a feeling we're going to see a frost in September, early September, and that we could have a really dry June and July. So, maybe uh, letting that winter rye grow, spraying it, leaving it on top for mulch would be a really uh, good thing. Help hold moisture in the sand. So, so yeah. There's still snow, hidden, hidden on the north side of trees and stuff, but things are starting to green up. But anyhow, that's the spreader. Very happy with it. But anyhow, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully the wind isn't going to mess with this too much. So I got this bottom part covered where I'm going to plant corn this year. <clears throat> we put it on pretty, pretty thick. Um, my plan is I'm going to plant oats on the hillside. Just straight oats. And then after we combine the oats off, then we'll direct seed alfalfa, orchard grass, and Italian rye into that. But as you can see out here, I put it on thick, 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 thick. Um, that was my plan. So I'm gonna cover that backfield that you guys just saw. Then I'm gonna cover this hillside. Uh, the front half there, I'm gonna leave that winter I grow to combine. This winter I up here, I'm gonna let grow where we chopped off. Let it grow as long as possible, just the same as the back. Um, and this hillside, like I say, is gonna be oats. And then we'll direct seed it after we combine the oats off. So, yeah, look, there's, I mean, this spreader does an awesome job. There's no real big clumps here that are going to affect the corn planter whatsoever. So, that is really nice. So, slowing that PTO down and speeding the apron chain up just a little bit. Actually, I, I sped it up. 60% of what it was after I slowed it down so um, it's working awesome better with the beaters running slower it's not vibrating like crazy and it's yeah it's very very happy with it so anyhow I'm gonna add this on the other end of the end of the other thing so you guys can see what the outcome is actually standing in the field of how this spreader works so very happy. Anyhow, catch you guys later.